Hello folks, today I'm back at Rickle Airfield. Um, Realise watching Ian's videos, it was last November when I was up here. And I thought I'd, uh, I'd come and have a look, just to get out of the house, get out of the workshop. And I thought I'd have a walk around part of the perimeter track, which I normally miss out. And maybe a couple of other interesting parts. Moment, it looks like rain, which you don't need. So, anyway, let's have a walk up here. There's a couple of dispersal points to be seen, possibly an air raid shelter. Uh, the wind's not making too much noise. Right, onwards. perimeter track was 50 feet wide obviously this is I think part of it um, let's see if we could find any defining edges usually tree lines are a good a good indication so maybe this is one edge actually see an edge. Not seen much evidence here. Just taking a short walk off the path and this is actually a dispersal point known as the frying pan dispersal point. Uh, Somewhere, not there, there'll be uh, tie down hooks. Uh, and you can see by the how the trees, how there's this big opening, that gives you some idea of the size. Boots, I don't know if it's all got the concrete down. Seems very grassy. But look. Oh no. It's still there. So as you can see, they were quite big. The um, the Halifax did have a wingspan of about I think about 98 feet somewhere look at the tie down hooks but we've seen them before right if I walk out of here hopefully we can find a defining edge of the uh, dispersal track Quite a weird sort of sensation feeling down here. So this is where the, the dispersal point joins up with the perimeter track. So we've got the original concrete. You can see where the edge. Now it all seems to merge. Now the perimeter track did actually have lights all around the edge of it I've actually uh, restored one that I found at a different location um, I've never seen one here there's very very little left of the uh, light fittings or any evidence of them which is a shame right this must be the edge where this tree line is which would suggest 50 foot from here 
is quite a way over there. Sort of the length of an Arctic truck, so probably where that big tree is over there, that thicker one. Let's take a look. If that's the case, it means it's at the middle. Yeah. There you can see the middle has been dug out of it. Can we see any evidence of the other side? It's about my reckoning. Would have been maybe somewhere here, but maybe not. Maybe that's the line. Or is it? Because it keeps coming. That would sort of make it about here, I reckon. Is that about 50 feet? Answer in the comments, please. Well, let's go further up. See what else we can find. Don't know if you can see it. There is actually uh, an air raid shelter there. Hidden in the bushes. Well, uh, the car just pulled up, so I'm not going to go jumping over the fence yet, but we might have a look at that later. Not that I've brought a torch. Well, it is me, I'm useless like that. Right then, let's keep going up here, because there is another dispersal point. And on the RAF plan, it did show something else near the air raid shelter. Some kind of blast wall or blast shelter, I'm not sure. Well, so that could be in there. Might be worth a, a quick look. Here's for evidence of the perimeter track, apart from the surface itself and that cutaway edge, which seems to alter here. Ah, I wonder if that edge is it over there. a route. <laughs> Hard to see it. Should we uh, have a look at the next dispersal point or what we can see of it? Yeah, I just came back up here because from down there there just didn't seem to be a distinct edge. But now I'm stood here, I can't see it. How strange. Definitely tarmac. Oh, very odd. It's got to be the tree line. Has to be. Right, dispersal point. <laughs> Nearly bonfire night, folks. Yeah, that's the next 
universal coin, dragonfly. You can see that. So that's the next dispersal coin. Pretty much the same sort of roundness as the last one. So we'll, we'll move on. According to the site plan, there wasn't much in that area, so I don't really need to go exploring it. We're now coming up to where the perimeter track took a sharp right, uh, and the end of the runway is, is just across there. Looks like it's been cut away parts of it. That goes off to some of this farm. circle to come out of. Nothing left in that one. Which means there would be more. For example, the one there should be one straight opposite. Let's have a look. the edge of the actual uh, where the actual uh, perimeter track finished doesn't look very obvious does it maybe should come up here with a metal detector you might find things then You can actually see this on the site plan how it just kicks out a little bit. I think that was just to uh, allow the the tail end of the the bomber to swing round as it uh, made the quite tight turn. Not seeing any more uh, evidence of lights. Surely is it? Stuck out. There would have been something on the edge of here. Maybe the RAF dug them all up. Somebody's weird, them in. in it of course Oh, 
reckon how many bombers actually made the turn round onto this runway over the years this place was open. I wonder what the crews were thinking as they came round. Must have been scary. Well, is that another one? move on. The perimeter track has actually been narrowed. As you can see there's been a big section cut out there. And this runway would have would have had a big number 23 painted on it. According to the site plan it did. Now that line must be the edge of the perimeter track, surely. That tree's been there a while. That's got a chunk of concrete. What a beautiful day. I think I'd get out this nice. I'm just actually stood at the, just sort of beyond the end of the runway. It was quite a place to stand back in the day. The aircraft were taking off. Where should we go next? It's been such a nice day, we could... Uh... I wonder if we can find the old car. Should we go and have a look? Why not? End of the runway. Bit of perimeter track. I'm guessing this is the last bit of full width. Is it somewhere about there? Almost looks like it should be there. Maybe it is. Right then, let's go this way. go this way. I'd just like to say a big thank you uh, to all my subscribers, old and new, when I actually uh, started my YouTube channel. It, it wasn't for likes or subscribers, it was just somewhere easy to put videos up, most of those being uh, with me starting engines up. Not to everybody's taste. Uh, but as the years went by, I actually uh, got to know Ian and Chris, who uh, the IKS channel has inspired me no end to actually show myself on the camera and start filming my other interests, which is exploring. It's very peaceful here. thing I should bring a metal detector but yeah if you're new to the channel um, I like to have more exploring videos than engine videos and mechanical videos uh, so just bear with me because at the moment I'm trying to get my camper van on the road that seems to be going on forever um, you've been saved today it was to be another camper video but I ran out of gas with the welder then I thought, you know what, let's get out of the house, let's go and do something. So I thought of a walk around the former RAF Rickle. You, uh, if you've seen Ian's video, uh, you'll probably remember us going in the, the air raid shelter, which is just in those trees there. Uh, there you go, another dispersal point. A, a good part of uh, perimeter track. I'd say that's how it was originally covered.
And once again, I do always just keep an eye out, see if anything got uncovered. Like any old lights or anything. You never know. But where was the edge? Was it there? Or was it there? I'd say it was probably there. Anyway, let's go onwards. Oh, look, uh, somebody's been burning things by the looks of it. There it is. That's the first air raid shelter I went in with Ian and Chris. It was a little moist. I ain't got my torch, so I'm not even going to go and have a look. I'm going to keep going this way for a little bit further. And then I'm going to go and try and find the old car, which is also where there's meant to be a little bit of road and a couple of old buildings, which will probably be deep. There'll be just the footings left. You know, skip with common, you probably know this bit. Pump there, which was the harmonisation range, and straight opposite is a dispersal point. Amazingly, well, concrete can survive. Right, this is actually perimeter track, literally, and I suppose that's about 50 feet. See how the trees have actually grown over the edge of it? Seems to have a lot of tree deaths here, I don't know if it's... They're unhappy. A miserable place in winter. Oh, it seems to have some shrubbery. Let's, uh, let's kind of go around it. I hope it isn't too wet. Oh, I see a rabbit. I doubt you have seen the rabbit. Oh no, it's a squirrel. Huh. I like squirrels. So. That is the dispersal point under the fallen down tree and things. This is probably the edge of it. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. It used to be a little road. Came across this way, stabbed myself with a branch. Ah, there we go. There's the building. There could have been two. No. Let's see if I can manage to get over this without breaking me, yeah. Breaking myself. They're probably looking at 
me going, what's that weirdo doing in the woods talking to himself? Well, this weirdo's come to show you this brick wall. I'm just wondering if this was some sort of component store of some description. Because the road came from over that way where those people are walking and came up this way. I'm not sure which side it was on. I'm sure at this point I'll show you on the site plan and you'll be able to see it for yourself. So that's the remains of one. Yeah, I do think they are very similar to actually what's at the side across there. Let's go a little bit deeper into here. Doesn't that look really, really miserable? Greenery, 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 not so green, I wonder why that is. Ooh, another wall. Those roots, not bad. Come on, let's go. what remains of the uh, the alleged RAF staff care I did read it was left over after the war um, in 46 um, how true that is I don't know as you can see there's <coughs> not a lot left of it a little bit of tin work Whether it was or not, very hard to tell. I'm guessing that was the rear quarter. What else have we got? Not a great deal. Got a chassis like an LDV. Yeah, there's not much left. Front wing, anyone? I don't think it'll buff out. Oh, what else have we got? Bit more tin work. Out of the chassis. I'm guessing that was maybe an engine mount of some description. Bit more chassis. Yeah, we're not going to be putting this back on the road, are we, chaps? And here we have... It's another brick wall, same as over there, and I think they're down as some sort of component store. And you can see it was obviously a tin... A tin roofed. Maybe there was a wall at the other end with a door. Who knows? So there it is, folks. That's the old RAF staff care. You didn't it rickle. Now you know where it is, but please, 
respects it. It's probably older than most of us. Right then. Something else I could show you while we're up here. That's enough rust for a Saturday. And that's this bit over here. fence again. Yeah, that car's definitely hidden in the trees. It was actually um, mentioned in a book on RAF Rickle. Um, the book itself actually gave a description of a lot of the aircraft accidents that happened. Uh, quite a rare book now. And it did mention in there that in the 80s I think the writer, possibly some veterans, visited here and they pointed out that there was a car but they couldn't get to it because it was sort of swamped and this place quite often does. Uh, so whether it was a staff car, who knows. Right. I have no idea what this is. Not without looking on the plan and actually trying to work it out. don't think it's a wishing well. well it's definitely been something. It was only that high. Some kind of cover must have been on there. It's an ammunition box. This location on the map would be behind the parade, be on quite at the edge of the airfield to be fair, so maybe it was some kind of airfield defence. Lots of flies and things buzzing around now, so I'm surely going to get bitten to death. Right, where do we go next? Where do we go next? We've seen the car, we've seen that. Let's go back to the perimeter track, eh? This way. Just worth a mention, the these dispersal points. Um, all aircraft repairs and services tended to be done at the dispersal point. So there's a good chance that a lot of the young uh, mechanics would probably throw duff spark plugs and things just out to the side, at, side of the uh, dispersal point. The odd nut and bolt that was left over, heaven forbid. Maybe worth actually uh, getting the metal detector out one day, if I had a good one. Came out of there a little bit quicker than I expected. Uh, stood in a wasp nest nearly, which wouldn't have been pleasant. So yeah, back on the perimeter track. Where should we go? Battery's getting a bit low. So I'm going to wrap this video up soon and head back to the car. That's what happens to a tree when it grows on a flat surface. <coughs> no, that's not COVID. See there, there's another air raid shelter. That's the one that's not actually buried very deep.
That's another dispersal point. Battery's getting a bit low, so oh, might as well go back to the car. Been here a little while now. Just, uh, walking back up the perimeter track. We uh, could just have a little look over there, see if, what we can see of the uh, harmonisation range. You can see by the tree line, it's it's wider than the perimeter track considerably. This would have been, I'm guessing, the edge of the concrete. That will have been the banking from behind, I guess. So maybe that's remnants of whatever else was stood here. Right, let's go back to the cab. Back to the runway, chaps. Just pulled out of the airfield and back to the main road. Which you can see runs along there. Well, that used to be the East Coast Mainline Railway. Uh, this used to be the road to York, and this was the edge of the airfield. And here we can see, I hope the wind didn't too much, by the way. Uh, here we can see a dispersal point that's not covered in trees. Right here on the size of it. Actually sunken, but look. The tide loops are all in a circle, as you can see. The central one, one there, one there, one there, 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 and there. If we just uh, I think there is actually a little bit missing off this one. I think the farmer might have claimed it. But maybe around the edges, hard to tell. But the the first part of the perimeter track this video started on, which is way over there, actually runs all the way down here. And where the electric pole is, you see how it bends around. Where the trees are is one of the runways that runs all the way up that way and there was one that went across over there and the one that we walked on the end of so as you can imagine it was, a, it was quite a big area and obviously with a lot less trees so yeah this comes back onto perimeter track I just thought I'd stop here on the way back and just, uh, just quickly show you the, uh, the GoPro battery is about to die which doesn't surprise me is that what I think it is? yep that could have well been perimeter track light. Got any more? Let's have a quick look just at the other side because I see a chunk of concrete. What's the one over here? I'd put it somewhere about here if it was.
That's out of that one then. Obviously not. Probably too windy. Should be blowing a gale now, but I'll end this video. Um, please like, subscribe and all that jazz. And see you soon. Bye for now.